Hey guys, today this video is going to show you how to make this 3D water bucket for my summer series. This will go with my beach toys. And today I'm going to show you how to make this one. First, I'm going to make the bottom of the bucket. For the bottom, I'm going to use single pens. Start from first on the center to first on your left. And make sure your red arrows point away from you. Single pen from first to second on your left, second to third, and third on your left to fourth on the center. Now we're going to repeat this step and do it on your right. First on the center to first on your right. First to second. On your right, second to third, on your right, third on your right to fourth on the center, first to second on the center, second to third, and third to fourth. Now we're going to make a cap band, take one single band, twist it, one, two. So you will see three rings here. Place right here as cap band. Now I'm gonna take one single band, make an upside down triangle here, and now we can and now we can load our loom and start looping. Hold on to your cap band. Grab the first one. Put it to the next one on the center. Bottom one. Put it to the next one. Bottom one. Put it to the next one. Now we're going to come back here and look for this band. Should be the next one under the cap band. And hook it to your left. Bottom one, hook it to the next one. Bottom one, hook it to the next one. Bottom one, hook it to the last one on the center. Now we're going to repeat this step and do it on your right. When you're done here, put your hook through here, take one single band, grab it through, put both ends on your hook, take one end to the others, and tie a knot here. Now it's time to pull it off. And this is the bottom of our bucket. We'll put it aside and use it later. Next, we're going to make the bucket. For those of you who didn't have rainbow room, you can still do this project. It's a stable room like this. Use this template. It will still work the same. For those of you who has rainbow room, we can replace this part out this piece. Put it aside and you can remove this center part and put it up here, make it straight right here. That will make it much easier. And today we're only gonna use this 10 peg. Now we're gonna take one single rubber band. You can use your hand, just make a double loop and press right here. This peg from your right, one, two, three, four, five. But doing this way for some of you, you will hurt your finger, so we can do it other way. Put it on your hook, twist it. So you will see two little rings here. 
and press right here is your hook help you that will be easy on your finger repeat this step twist one time you see two rings here press right here use your hook help you so you won't hurt your finger that much and we're going to continue to do this all the way around and come back here same make a two loop press right here one we're gonna cross up here so now total you have four on this row and four on the center row and one on each end all the way around so this is our first layer we're gonna keep all the bands down in your room right now it should look like this now we're gonna press second layer for the second layer, we're just going to take one single band, press right onto it. This is a single loop, you don't need double loop it anymore. Then just continue to press all the bands all the way along here. press second layer on your room it should look like this the same as on this side you have two layer now we're gonna grab the bottom layer from outside grab it and move it inside like this make sure you keep all the bands down so you won't pop out Grab the first layer, it should look like two, two, right here. Grab all of them, move it inside, and continue to do this all the way around. This side is a little bit harder than the rest of it because it's double looped band. After you go through the first layer, you'll be much easier. Make sure you grab all of them on first layer. So after you done, you should still have two bands on each peg. Now we're going to come back here and do the other side. The same. Grab all the band on the first layer, move it inside. Make sure you only grab the first layer, so you should still have two. Let's step over, move it inside. After you done the second layer, now we're going to repeat for the next layer. So this will be our third. The same, 
take one single band go all the way around come back here Here you keep the bands down a little bit so when you loop in it you won't pop up so now the same we have four bands on each peg again so we're gonna grab the bottom there and move it inside bottom there move it inside and again the same, we're going to do this all the way along. Now we're going to do this side. Grab the bottom two, move inside. Bottom two, move inside. Now we have total three layers. For this bucket, for this size, total I use six layers. So now you can pause your videos and do the same thing for three more layers. I will see you when you're done. Okay, now we're done with six layers. We're ready to close up. Now on your peg, it should still two bands on each peg. And we want to separate them. Now I'm going to show you how to close up on the top. On each peg, you should still have two bands. This time, we're going to go from inside. Grab the bottom one and hook it to the next one. After you do that, you should see three bands on this peg. We're going to grab this bottom one. And Hook it to the next one. So now you can see three here, the same. Grab the bottom one and just repeat this step. Continue to do this all the way along and come back here on the first one we started it. On this one, we grab the bottom one. Hook it on the one next to it. And this side the same. Grab the bottom one. Hook it back here. Last one. Grab the bottom one. Put it back here and we started from here so we're going to finish here now we're going to put your hook and this one and grab it out this tooth is not secure so make sure you keep it safe on your hook and the rest of it you don't have to worry when it's all secure and just slowly pull it out and after you pull it out we're going to make sure we secure this loose end. This is the only two that's not secure. We want to make sure you don't lose them. Now we're going to tie a knot here. This is a regular knot. Pull it through. And just be sure we're going to do it one more time. For those of you who has a hard time doing this, there's another way. You put one end on top of the others. Like this, and there is a little hole here. Take your hook through this little hole 
and grab this top one grab it through this hole like this so that will help you to tie a knot and now you just need dress a little bit now we're gonna turn this pocket all the way around for this one it doesn't matter you can attach on this side on the bottom or this side they all look almost the same today I'm gonna attach right here so we're gonna take this piece that we already made and put it right here and just randomly choose a spot on the last one on this end and take one single pen cut it through and now you can tie a knot grab one end through the others just sew them together and the same do the same thing for a few more spots take two in the bottom there and two on the bottom part take one single pen grab it through take one end through the others and maybe two more Grab it through to um, each piece and tie a knot and maybe one more that should be enough just randomly choose a spot along the bottom it doesn't really matter where just maybe four on each corner Grab it through, grab one end to the others, tie a knot. Now it's time to turn it over and we can tuck this part in. So this will be the bottom part of the bucket. Now we're going to make the handle right here. For the handle we're going to use different color. Today I'm going to use orange. We can choose random spot on the top, two bands, top layer, put gear hook through the other side, take one single band and bring it through here, put both ends on your hook so that, that would attach to your bucket. And the same, do it like you're doing single presses and just continue to do this until you get the however long that you like for your handle mine I use 8 of them so now we have 3 4 5 6 7 and eight so now we have our handle down now we're going to attach this side to the other side make sure across from this original point that we started it so we're going to come back here hold on to this part so you won't get loose and come back here the cross point will be here Put ear hook through two of the band, grab one of the ear through and put the other side on your hook. 
Now we want to tie a knot on here. So the same, take one end to the other. So we will tie a knot here. Now we can put this loose end, we can hide it inside. Let's go from here, choose a random spot. And grab it through so we can hide it inside. Now for this little ball here, you can leave it at series if you like, or you can hide them. If you want to hide it, the same, just come back here, choose a spot, grab it through, tuck it underneath, and on this side too, just choose a random spot, grab it. And now we have our little cute water pocket. If you like my video, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time.